Hello guys, welcome to this guide video. Hope you all are having a fantastic and wonderful day. Hope you guys find this video helpful and easy to follow. And without further ado, let's get into the video. Okay, so let us get into the location of Morike first, with the intro out of the way. It is in the southern part of the Calfion region, a little bit of east of Hicks Sanctuary and Bay, a little bit of southeast to Calfion City itself. If you do have the note, you can just auto path there and it would arrive you to the entrance of the area where you're gonna want to start your grinding. Okay, so after arriving at Mori Cave, you'll be at the node manager if you followed your waypoint. And now in this area, you're going to find tombstones. They are quite large, so it's kind of hard to miss them. Uh, they will be the only hostile raid enemy on the map. Uh, count them as enemies. And what you do is you hit them once, and it will trigger a wave-based defense. Now, this spawns a lot of mobs, and these guys do hit quite hard. So I would suggest only coming here once you're a little bit stronger. And you do need to push for your pens, or maybe you want to save up some materials for a uh, awakening weapon for for C, or whatever the case might be. It is a very good spot to farm seasonal items such as timeful blackstones, ores, and magical blackstones, um, just due to the high drop rate and the amount of mobs that drop here in this area. So just defend the tombstone as long as you can. Make sure it doesn't get hit too much, and you should be able to hold it for quite a few minutes until it shatters from enemy damage. Okay, now to get into the purpose of this video. This is going to show you guys what you can get for farming here for one hour. Uh, what I did was I split a blue scroll of blue alice into a 30 minute one and I farmed you for 15 minutes. So it's not going to be a very long video, don't worry about it, I'm just going to cover what I want to cover and that 15 minutes of items i'm going to multiply with four and we should get a rough estimate of what you can expect by grinding here for a full hour um so yeah let's get into the results okay and now for the results um like i said we're going to go from the base number and then we're going to go and multiply by four so we got 17 black energy residues which translates into 68 of them per hour to drop 25 traces of death which translates into 100 of them per hour to drop we got five armor black stones to drop which is 20 per hour and that's a really good we also got six weapon black stones to drop which is 24 per hour which is just fantastic we also got two rift forms to drop which is eight per hour we also got one chromatic key to drop which is four per hour and one of those keys can help you out a lot we got five to villa auto drop which is 20 per hour we also got four refined magical black stones which is 16 per hour and we got 49 time full black stones which is 196 per hour we got one capra stone which is four per hour one ancient spirit dust which is four per hour Three ancient relic crystal shards, which is 12 per hour, and 2880 trash loot, which is 11,520 per hour. These numbers are not set in stone, so just be mindful of that. I hope you guys found this guide useful, easy to follow, and I hope you guys enjoy. As always, I really do appreciate all the support, and if you guys feel like it, hit the sub button, hit the bell and give me some feedback in the comments below it greatly helps me out and i really do appreciate it have a great day thank you all again see you in the next video and peace out